Welcome everyone, my name is Doomasect. I'm being joined by the boob hat of captains. Hey, what's up everybody, how's it going? And today, we are concluding our little discussion on our thoughts on the new Pokemon. So we're just gonna go ahead and hop right into it. Oh, by the way, spoiler warning, because uh, apparently people don't know about these yet. Oh yeah, that uh, spoiler. All, all, alert. all five of you don't know about these yet. Uh, right. So let's start with Rallet and his evolutionary line because it's number one. Your thoughts? Uh, so uh, turns out that that Chinese leak was pretty much spot on. Unfortunately, yes, yes, it was. Yeah, especially unfortunately not, for not in the case of Rallet. Uh, Rallet works. I Rallet, I like his because it. Does he have a bow? Was that part of the picture? I believe so. Yeah, I, I'm I, feeling I, like he does. I, that's I think his entire thing is that they're going for this like green arrow Robin Hood character. Robin Hood type character. Yeah. I hate the middle of all. <laughs> I, I I'm trying to uh, figure yeah, out. Yeah, I I I think it looks like that rich kid at <laughs> school who's like transferred from the private school that his fucking parents own. What I what the best way I've seen it uh, described is. Rallet is like he starts off as the little nerdy kid, evolves into that like emo edgy kid. It's like <laughs> I'm into anime, and then the, the, the final one is like just like full on cosplayer. It's like oh god, I full on cosplayer. Like he, it looks back at Dartrix and it's like it pains me that I was like that in school. <laughs> <laughs> I was that kid. I was that kid that did the Naruto running at PE. <laughs> yeah alright so moving on to the biggest disappointment of uh, this generation so you know uh, they revealed the second of all for Litten and I was actually really hopeful that it would stay aquatic same, red same. Um, in fact I, I actually had really high hopes that we'd actually have like a sweet fucking fire panther type thing but instead, it's John Cena. Uh, it's it's worse than John Cena. It, it, I just spiked the hell out of my waveform on that. <laughs> it's it's fire crotch heel wrestler cat. Uh, why? Indeed. Like I, why? I look at Tora Cat and I'm like, okay. You're an Avilet candidate. You, you, there, are, I, I, your stats could suck. There oh, yeah. is no questions asked because I am not evolving you. <laughs> I love because there's yeah. there's a bunch of people defending this evo uh, final evolution. They're like, oh, you, you guys wanted was a bigger lit, and, and all of us are over here like, exactly. That is exactly what we wanted. I look at Cenequil. Typhlosion is a bigger Cenequil, and it, yeah, it works exactly. And it works amazingly. This does not, like... Uh, it, it's Ember, Embor 2.0. I hate it. Oh, I, hey, by the way, uh, uh, my furnace has started turning on, so... Meh. I should be able to get it out. Yeah, I, I, I don't really matter. Uh, moving on to... Well, uh, at, at least he's fire dark and not fucking fire fighting. I don't know if that's confirmed yet. You don't want to oh yeah, I this really because uh, these uh, are speculative. So. Tor Toracat is uh, still a fire type. I know everyone is like they're of them out of the starters. They are uh, riding that fire dark train, but uh, I don't think it's officially it, anything's officially been revealed on it. So uh, then again, well, th that Chinese hope. that Chinese leak could have had fire dark on. I don't remember. It might have. I feel like I feel like it did. Uh, give me a moment. And uh, just to just to confirm that uh, Houndour and Houndoom or whatever are the only other Fire Dark Pokemon. I looked that up. Yeah, truth, truth. Um. So yeah, like you were saying, on to uh, Water Bay. Water Bay. Water Waifu. Water bay. <laughs> so, the second form is not too bad. I mean, it's a hell of a lot better than the first one. At least it kind of looks like. I, see, I hate. Pavlio and oh, what the hell is the other one like Brion I think is what it's called I have, I have no idea I, I don't like either of them I look at them and just like this is a gen 7 chess pin 
the oh uh, yeah that thing that it's like what the fuck the final evolution is what saves this entire line for me it's it's not the yeah. best water uh type final we've ever gotten but it's a hell of a lot better than it's uh first and second stage i agree and it did kind of does it justice for being such a shitty design to begin with and then it kind of brings it around it's like okay um this is the only concern i have with this one it's something they're not going to change even though they've uh changed like fucking everything else in the game but th this is one <clears> thing i doubt is gonna ever change this pokemon looks female i want it to have a uh, reverse gender ratios where instead of 75% male and 25% chance of female. Right. I want it, I, I want it to be reversed. Like <clears throat> I said, probably I not going to happen. <laughs> but it'd be neat. It would be very neat, but yeah, like I said, sadly probably not. Probably not going to happen. Let's move out of starters into Rock Puppy and Rock Puppy Wolves. I got to say I like them. Everyone has been flipping shit over moon version lycanthrope and i prefer the sun one <laughs> it's like this looks more like your traditional wolf um i like yeah, i, it I like, like both a sweet little wolf they're both uh really bitching for dessert their design yeah I, I think they did it justice they this is a pokemon they didn't fuck up and, yeah and that's kind I of my, that's, I, I like uh i like rock ruff's initial design yeah, so yeah. i was actually kind of kind of surprised that they didn't fuck it up when they revealed these two i was like holy shit they actually look cool design wise they didn't fuck it up we haven't seen stats yet I i'm i'm just full on waiting yeah. for both of these to be like oh 472 uh base stat total it's like fuck they're right uh yeah just forget about them so koala koala never saw anything <laughs> uh, well moving on to uh toucan I don't, I don't even want to talk about I, the koala. I like the it's 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 dead. It's it's a koala. Here, yeah. You're you're the new far fetched. Uh I liked I liked Pick Pick's design. I like the middle of uh, all initially. Too. It I mean that's decent. It it pretty much just looks like a bigger pick pick. Yeah. Which I mean is fine. I like the woodpecker idea. It, then it turns and into then, a toucan why? because uh Why? See th this everyone because everyone I've uh listen to hates this and i'm i'm wondering if it had started out as a toucan and gradually just turned into a bigger toucan would people still hate it or is it the fact that it did solely start as a woodpecker and turn into a toucan which makes no fucking sense that's that's what bugs me that bugs the shit out of me i wondered like what the fuck Why? was going on like oh you know we have the pokemon game it's hawaii themed I don't even know if they have woodpeckers in Hawaii. I have no idea. I don't think they have fucking toucans either. Well, I mean, the whole I have no idea, theme. obviously. Right, so. Uh, I don't think they have tiki toes. your nose, down there wherever it goes. This, <laughs> the Fruit Loops. Uh, Donald Thanks. Trump, I think we uh, covered very we, well we've last covered time. We've covered covered Donald Trump clones one and two. Yeah. So we've we've covered we, we the have bugs, covered Trampa. the uh, bugs. But one of the things, like last time, I was like, oh, you know, I don't want this to be, you know, Gen Seven B drill. And one of the things I had completely forgotten about was the uh, Soliapede evolutionary line or Venipede. Or, oh yeah. And I'm just like, wait, that one had stats that didn't suck. Could it be yeah, possible that, that Vikavolt will not suck? And I, that's uh, it's possible. It's made I mean, me it looks sweet. made me so happy. And I, uh, you obviously can't see this. I'll show it. You show it to you, and we're done. Vikavolt's yep. shiny form is like hands down the best shiny for this generation. It looks fucking no epic. I, I haven't looked at any of the shinies yet. Yeah, I will. I will find that to you when we're uh, done. Uh, Drampa and Bruxish. I have nothing. Don't seem to have gotten anything added. They're still just whatever one, they are. One of them's okay. The other one is uh, water type Jinx. Cutie fly, and I, I don't yeah. even remember what the hell this thing's name is, but um, I do not remember. I I don't dislike the second design. It's I think my problem is I look at it and it's just like you you are gonna be weak. 
yeah. you do not look. It's, it looks like it's literally one that's just there to have something there for you to fill in a spot on the Pokedex. I, I, that's, yeah. It's like nobody's going to use it, but you never know. It could end up being something actually decent. I, I, I don't know, because normally when something looks really fragile or something, it usually means it's a good special attacker. I'm just not getting that vibe from this thing. This thing looks like it. No, it just it looks doesn't, It doesn't even look fast. It just it no, full it on just, looks fragile. <laughs> yeah, it just looks like a thing that's just there just to exist. It has no real true purpose. I mean, when your Pokemon looks like a Butterfree, you can fuck it up pretty good. <laughs> right, that's just sad. Uh, so fatter, we have a fatter gray Gen Pikachu. Seven Pikachu clone. And then cool. this one, I actually really kind of like the way it looks. See, kind of looks. Uh, I like Slant it and. The evolve. I when I look at it, it's it's grown on me the more I've seen it. But uh, one of the issues I think I have with it is, I feel like the head, like it's not even the head, it's the neck. The neck looks disproportional, and it it just it sets that off in my mind. Like this, just it doesn't look right. Um, I mean, yeah, a little bit. I guess I can see where you're coming from. The way that I, when I see it, I think of like a raptor or something, and you know that's, that's kind of how their that, neck would Yeah, be. that is exactly kind of what I thought. But then, like, if, it, if you're going with that whole raptor thing, I feel like it should be hunched over more and not standing up so straight. Yeah, it's like the the, the proportions are they throw me off, and it's just. I, I but don't it's still, dislike you know, it's the still design, but to be it, a, it is. It's still supposed to be like a salamander at the same time. But yeah, it's like, yeah, that's true. It's just a bipedal salamander. I guess I could see why it would have a neck like that, and it's got to fucking look down. <laughs> but <sighs> moving, I like it. Yeah, I like I, it. I do like it too. It's uh, <laughs> it could have been too stupid. Not red pandas. Worse. Yeah, it could have not been a. Oh god! Why is this a Pokemon? Why? why is <laughs> I don't this a thing? know. I still question their sanity every time I see them. A, a lot of the like I've seen a few people that uh, do really like the uh, lower evolution. They thought it looked cute, but I mean, I look at B and I can kind of see it. It's it's a lot better than what Beware is. I look at Beware and it's just like whoever designed this thing, they should get fired. That's, that's right, how I they, feel uh, about just looking at that. It's like, that is not good design. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if... If Ken Sugimori really, like, comes up with these on his own, or I'm assuming that he has... No, no, there are you know, other... He has other, ideas and I, whatnot. He, uh, anymore, I think he just draws. But I, He's they, just the artist now? I thought he was still the yeah, uh, he, designer. He might do a few, but... Um, he might be the art director now. Because I know in Gen Five there there was uh it was a big deal because there was an American guy they brought on to do some of the Pokemon and he infamously did the Vanillux line. Oh jeez, I see. He also did Mandibuzz, and it's like, how can you have one thing that's awesome and the other thing is just like, what the hell is this abomination? All right. Okay, so moving on to uh... Mimikyu. No. I mean, it's, we've it's already cool. talked about it. I like it, it, but it doesn't evolve, and to me, that's a problem because it. Yeah. Th this again, it's got to do something. Don't just make something just to have it there. It's a gimmick Pokemon. That's it, it's it, it, flat it, it, out. it's like the meteor we're gonna talk about in a little bit. Um, yeah, my issue is I look at it and it's like it, it's same thing about this little fly we talked about before. It's not gonna be strong. This is going to no. be a very weak Pokemon, just going off its appearance. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see what it actually can do. Speaking of a very weak Pokemon that turns into a fucking monster. <laughs> into a goddamn Kaiju. Into a goddamn Mirelurk Queen. Like, Jesus that thing looks, Christ. It does look badass. Flat out looks badass. So the speculation with this is Wimpod is going to be Gen 7. Uh, Magikarp, and ah. this thing is going to be Gen Seven Gyarados, and I, I can I can easily see that. I can see this thing being a five forty base stat total. That could be amazing. It'd be great. Like, could you imagine? You know, like, oh, you getting one of these at level five, and it sucks, and you know, that level twenty comes around, just like, Bruh. 
and just like <laughs> fucking steamrolls everything. Oh uh, yeah, I'm I'm hoping it does go base like that. I'm it it, it almost should too because uh, one of the ways the new Pokemon games have been working, I've noticed, I think since Gen five, is the Pokedex seems to be in order with when you start running into the Pokemon. So yeah. Wimpod is a very very early Pokemon on this list. Yeah. And that could definitely be the case. That would be sweet if you get him right away, then uh, you could have a, actually a fucking beastly Pokemon out yeah, like, decently early. I, I'm assuming they're either going to do that or they're going to be doing this thing they've started doing where it's going to take, you know, fucking forever to advert to evolve. Oh, yeah. I level mean, I 64. Be surprised. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it was something that they were, like, level 40. I wouldn't either. Then that would fit the, uh... Yeah, that would fit the stat bracket. Well, I mean, like, uh, Kabutops and... Yeah, ex that's exactly what I was thinking about, too. Interesting enough, like, I don't want to bring this up. No fossil Pokemon this generation. I know people that are going to be fucking furious about that. See, I was one of the ones I really liked getting the fossils and I the did, other I ones. Did too. I thought that, that was, was really sweet. I mean, I don't know why they would get rid of that and collecting fossils and using them for fucking wonder trade on X and Y was I spent a lot of time doing that I got a lot of good fucking Pokemon by doing that yeah yeah. I got a fucking shiny Mew for like <laughs> something something I have like 800 of I was happy with that do we want to move on to a uh, grass waifu one <sighs> yes, I guess... let's go to the let's go to the to the fan service for the dandrophiles gen 7 Gardevoir why? 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 I like it. <laughs> it's it's. I'm not surprised. <laughs> it's better than what I thought Bond Sweet was originally gonna do. <laughs> so I thought it, I thought it was gonna kind of go the hop hip way, where it might go yeah, into something that, that was kind of that would have been cool. See, this this is I think the reason I'm not upset is because whenever they do a Pokemon that's extremely easy to sexualize like this one's going to be. Their base stats, like, their stats in general are usually pretty good, like, uh... Usually decent, yeah. Gardevoir, uh, really good. Uh, you, Lopunny, you know what? very good. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm actually, it's like, the, uh, the middle of all that actually looks pretty much exactly like Kirlia. Yeah. Yeah. I've already seen plenty of artwork of that thing in Kirlia. Like just side by side. I'm it's not like, surprised. Just, just like, not not like that. <laughs> it's a grass clone. Yeah, I do like the, the pod. The uh, like I've, I've been making fun of the puns in the last video, but trop <laughs> trop kick is like nice. I, I I'll give you a thumbs up for that one because that one isn't <laughs> cringe worthy. That's actually clever. Alrighty, so then we got uh, Gen Seven Klefki, Alol Al Alolan yeah, Klefki. Alolan Klefki. Yep, that works. Uh, moving on to Mudsdale, we've talked about you. Yep. Meteor. And we have uh, the little meteor, which may or may not kind of have something to do with that other meteor thing, or like there's those meteor. two just before the two. Uh, oh no, I don't. I I don't think it has anything to do with those, but. I was I saw some there was people speculating and I was kind of like I could I mean, kind of see that I kind of because it is supposed to be I think like a uh, you know star thing and it's sun and moon yeah. and yeah I I have no idea I don't know what to think because the it's it's gimmick is it's like uh what are those uh gachamons capsule ball things. Oh, yeah, the, the, yeah, you know, gotcha, man. That uh, Pokemon is actually somewhat based, based off. off of, It's yeah. like, oh, you crack them open, you never know what color it's supposed to be inside, and that's its uh, gimmick. And I, 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 I we see. haven't had a good gimmick Pokemon in a long time. Like, the only, Not a good one. The yeah. only gimmick Pokemon that come to mind as being good are Espeon and Umbreon. And I think that's just because... That was just they're making use of the night and day thing. They're, and they're only partially gimmick Pokemon. Is they were good. They were. They're again, still it was good. A good. Yeah, they're great. Awesome way to get you know psychic and a dark type of evolution. 
do more of that Pokemon. Why right. why are we not doing more of that? Uh, so do we want to move on to Grass Waifu 2? Grass Waifu 2? I mean, didn't we already do? Or that's Bug Waifu. Well, it, 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 Wait, it, it's not Bug Type? It's not Bug Type, it's Grass Type. Oh yeah, that's right, Bug Waifu's not uh, Bug See, Type. See, that's what, that's, I, I, because we did, we called it Bug Waifu before, and it, oh, yeah. it is Bug Waifu, but I thought it was like yeah. Bug Grass, it's not, it's just pure Grass yeah. Type. Huh. Which is weird. So that's, It doesn't that's make something. sense to me. Not at all. Um, I guess, goodbye, four times weakness to fire, that's nice. Yeah, truth, truth. That is very nice. And we got the four birds. Birds. Don't care about birds. Birds. Uh, Sandcastle, unfortunately, is a thing. Uh, Wishy-washy. Wishy-washy. I'm I'm still... Welcome to the team. (laughs) Yeah, I'm still holding out hope that that's going to be my water type. Yep, same here, bud. And then then we have the abomination that revealed his existence during our last video. This, This is my... Uh, thing with Pew Pew Mew Pew. I want to look at this as being like, no, you're a skip Pokemon. I can just throw you under the rug, never think about it again. The more I look at it, the more it reminds me of Shuckle. And I'm just like, I bet you're going to have something that's just off the wall fucking absurd about you. It very well could. Like, oh, this thing's, you know, uh, got like 604 base stat total. And Something four of it, it, like, it has one in everything defense. else. No, it has, like, one in everything else, and it's got, like, 600 attack. It's just like, <laughs> what? What? What the fuck? Because the, they, they've <laughs> talked about, you know, uh, when it eviscerates, it's supposed to be, like, oh, you know, the pull punch thing is supposed to be really strong. And I'm just like, yeah. I, I could just see it being, like, reverse shuckle. Where it's freaking attack. It's, and, instead of being defense yeah, tank, yep. it's just a fucking juggernaut. It's just like, oh god, what is this monstrosity you How have unleashed? How stupid would that be? Shuckle was a badass, though. I kind of like this thing. I mean, it, I, I'll have to see it. <laughs> I'll have to see it before I can make any fair judgment. Its mouth is also its butthole. True. <laughs> Morlol. I don't. Morlol wasn't revealed when we did the last one, was it? No, it was not. We have a mushroom, and it's a lot better than the last mushroom we got, so I'm happy. And it's a cute little thing. Wait, what's, what was the last mushroom we got? Amoongus. Oh, dear God, I forgot about that fucking garbage thing. <laughs> I don't think... I'm... I was just saying, I was, like, the last thing that I jumped to was, like, Shroomish? I was like, fuck, I like Shroomish yeah, no, and Breloom. Yeah, shroom, shroomish and Breloom are great. Uh, fucking awesome. Parasect is great. Oh, yeah. Uh... Amoongus is, I think, the only one of them that's actually competitive. Or no, no, Breloom is competitive. But, uh... Uh, Breloom is pretty good. Amoongus is also very competitive, but just... Uh, Amo- I wouldn't have had a problem with Amoongus, but that fucking nose. It's like, why did you put that on the mushroom? <laughs> this, like, reminds me of, uh, nose? Some straight out of, uh... Nightmare Before Christmas shit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that that's very much the vibe I get from this thing. It's like, did Tim Burton yeah, design kinda... this Pokemon? You know, I would not be. I I'm surprised I, I could it see hasn't that. Happened, I could see it. Yet. Uh-uh. Grass fairy, no shit. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, kind of like its second form too. Yeah. No clue what it's called. No, nothing on that yet. Um. And we have the Turdinator. Yeah, Turdinator. Like, is that? It's really its name. Like, really, it's the Turdinator. Because <laughs> like, it has like a fucking special ability called Albi Bock. It's fucking stupid. I, this is my issue I have with this thing. Uh, I I understand the head they went for is supposed to be. Uh, there's a turtle that does have this kind of head. It just I don't think it translated very well. It, it, Take my hand if you want to live. <laughs> it reminds me of Trudgigon, <laughs> where like the body looks oh. decently designed, but then you get to the head. Trudigon it's just against like, the head was like, what happened yeah, to you? It's like someone made this really cool body, and they, they let the five year old do the head. It reminds me of a. Uh, there's a turtle boss on one of the Mega Man X six stages. That's what it reminds me of because it's like facing his back to you and everything. I don't know. Um. Then we got uh, 
we have we have, we have Johnny Bravo crab, and then we have Johnny a, Bravo crab, abomination crab, and then it's See, it's uh, I don't even know what the fuck that thing. is. I don't either, and that both intrigues me and makes me terrified. Like, so out of all the crabs we have or crustaceans we have. I think this one is probably the worst design, but at the same time, I, I, I need to see this thing moving. I could see Why does this, it have hair? I don't know. That's why, why? I like. I, I could see this thing growing on me. Like, the one thing I look at is its uh, claws, because I know the purple part, the big purple part is probably going to open. I'm hoping yeah. the little part's open, too, where it's the, like... like fingers? Yeah, where it's like... I don't know, just something about that would be kind of cool to me. It'd be interesting, yeah. I agree. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it's hairy. I was originally like, oh, you know, it's supposed to be a coconut crab, and I'm like, do coconuts get really white and furry? Uh, coconuts themselves do have a sort of... Oh, yeah, I, I know furry. that, but it's just like... But I, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't, yeah, I don't know where the hell they're going with this design it looks like they took a crab and they're just like we have a crab we're gonna turn it into a abominable snowman crab do something because nobody it. can tell us that we can't all right so then we have the uh Mon I, do you even want to talk about the monkeys because i don't care about them <laughs> it's like a lineman <laughs> for the 49ers and then we have your uh local uh witch doctor uh, moving on uh, harambe Oh, oh dear god I miss doge memes because of Harambe <laughs> can we bring back doge such Harambe much kill yeah. so I, lo I, then this, I love we this have thing. this little uh, sea anemone looking type dealio I, like a coral type thing everyone's speculating water poison I'm just like you know why I'm yeah, so okay yeah. with a water poison pokemon again that'd be nice yeah yeah, I like this thing. It's cool. I mean, it's second of all. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. A Lolan Mawile, because that's what everyone assumes. Ah, it was. yeah. There, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, that second form is just weird. I, I, I like. It's interesting. This thing is not gonna have shit for speed. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I would imagine not, but you never know. Def we could. We'll, we'll find out. It looks like a defense. Yeah, this this thing like hardcore reminds me of Cloister. It's just like fucking wall and then we literally ju it's just a mossy anchor and ship wheel see out of everything out of, out of all the pokemon that this is revealed i'm i like i don't hate this one it's not it's not like clink clank bad but i just look at it it's like what what are you you are you are it's definitely the uh, Agislash of this generation. I want to know more it's, about it's this It's a thing. ship anchor and the ship steering wheel. No, I, I, I know that. Captain's wheel. Uh, I want to know typing. <laughs> Cause oh, typing. A lot of... Steel water, steel water would make sense. So would, so would uh, ghost water. Ah, uh, yes, so it would. would so would ghost steel. So would ghost steel. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why ever like... <sighs> Jinx, bitch. This Pokemon has con uh -huh. confused the shit out of everyone, because... Oh, I bet. I think, out of everything we have here, there are two... Yeah, two lines that haven't been leaked or somewhat revealed, because this little uh, sea anemone thing was leaked before all these uh, came out. And then there's yeah, this like, thing, like and then there's our before... next one. And so, like, we know nothing of these uh, Pokemon yet. It's like, oh, yeah. God, what the hell? I'm really digging this bug ice, whatever the fuck it is. See. I like it. Uh, it cause it's from what I've uh, been hearing, is there's a spider that forms a bubble. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. it uses that to breathe underwater, and that's what this is. Up. It's like a fisher spider or whatever, but yeah. I don't like the first of all, but the, the second one, um, I look at that, and that's like, oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, the first one's kind of like, it's. You could, I guess you could kind of call it, it's like, it's fucking nymph stage or whatever. I, I look at that second of all, I'm just like, that's some straight up body it, harvest shit. Oh yeah, it, it looks sweet. Um, yeah, typing, 
bug, probably. A lot of people have said water. I don't know. The eyes and the coloring remind me of electric, too. And it's like, they wouldn't really True. make a second electric spider, would they? I hope not. I mean, I, I really like the idea of bug ice. Bug ice? Is there a bug ice type? No. I know, because I know... There's only one bug water that I can even think of, and that is, uh... Surskit? Yeah. And it, that's not even its evolve, because it, its no. evolve becomes a uh, bug flying. <clears throat> yep. So yeah, either bug ice, which just sounds like it would have a shitload of weaknesses, or uh, bug water would be really cool. What the hell is the name of this little dragon? Uh, Jangmo. I th- I'm pretty sure it's Jangmo. I think the second one is uh, Konamo. Or maybe that's the. Hold on. I, I don't know. I, will, I like I will it. Look it up. Like one of them is like full on like a uh, Komodo. Oh. Yeah, it's like Komodo or something like that. Yeah, that's, I think something. What dash it's supposed o. to be is a uh, Komodo dragon. Yeah. It is a fighting dragon, though, which is really interesting. Yeah, it's, I think that's sweet. I like the way it looks. It's clearly our pseudo legendary. It is uh, Jang Jangmo O, Hakamo O, and Komo O. Jeez. Which uh, God names are gonna be a bitch this generation. <laughs> oh yeah, they're kind of they're like all islandy themed oh yeah just, some of them are just kind of strange so i'm glad to see that type null got a fucking evolve too silvoli or S- savali oh so I, I don't know if you've uh because savali's, ar- savali's already been re- uh, revealed a while ago yeah yeah and uh I, I i didn't realize this till i was watching a video about it its ability is called uh rks I think RKS system and uh, the Pokemon that I commonly refer to as Arceus it is actually pronounced Arceus so RKS <clears throat> and I don't know if, uh, what you've seen of this but this thing has a very similar ability where it's uh, type changes depending on what kind of item it's holding I believe Interesting. So it's, it's kind of li- like it's supposed it's an, to be an Arceus clone. It's an Arceus clone. Arceus. Whatever. Yeah, it changes body or whatever. type based on held item, and it has what looks to be a weaker version of Judgment, which is Arceus. Or yeah, Arceus is a signature main. move. Yep. Ah. So yeah, it, I I. This is my issue. If this thing's base stat total is not 600, I'm calling bullshit. <laughs> Which Ooh. would make it our a second uh, pseudo-legendary for this generation. And it would also make it our very first uh, only two-stage uh, pseudo-legendary. Pseudo. And I, 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 yeah, that would be interesting. I definitely want it to... Like, if... Oh God. I don't know. I, I feel just because it is a like Arceus clone it needs to be uh 600 I could also very easily seeing it falling into the uh Arcanine Fall Corona stage where it's like 550 ish uh that'd be reasonable I'd say yeah um so we have our island guardians which I guess uh I didn't really think about it when Tapo Coco came out but now that I'm seeing all four of them here a lot of people are speculating that these are going to be like the legendary bird slash legendary beast thing. So base stat total 575. Yeah, uh, most likely it seems like, you know, there's one on each of the four islands. Yeah. So it would make sense that there's like one of those, one of the uh, legendary beasts per island. I like the purple one. Uh, yeah, it's... I, I, think I think they're all kind of neat. I, I, I see. I like the first three. The last one I look at, it's just like, and maybe that's because I can't really see it so clearly. It's like, I, I don't know. I just I'm not feeling it compared to the other three. Yeah, the pink one gives yeah. me a very Mario vibe. Very yeah yeah I agree. They're almost like Splatoon. Yeah. Okay, and then 
Now, these are the two that I was thinking would possibly have something to do with the meteor thing. Okay. Um, so, I guess these are pre-evolutions to our legendaries? Ah, I could see that. Yeah, there are. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's very, like... I see it. It's, this this is what I'm hoping. Uh, Pre-evolutions would be interesting. What I'm really hoping is that these aren't, like, more fusion things. That you fuse them, oh. then they turn into something. And, oh god, I have... I have no idea. Like, no one does. Like, these just popped up, and they're clearly before the legendaries, so... Yeah. Uh, we didn't cover Magirna at all last time and actually one of the interesting things about it i don't know if it's alternate shiny forms or if it's just alternate forms but uh it does have alternate coloring based on different pokeballs huh interesting and then this little guy all the way over here is our first this, look at marshadow this little dark guy has got real no clue no what the hell is just kind of there everyone i've heard has been uh, super disappointed with this because we we've known about Marshadow for a long time just the name and i guess they were expecting something bigger and everything but i don't i look at it and it's like one if i saw this as a plushie i'd be like i, I want that i immediately like that's mine and two I'm buying that just just looking at it like i get that full-on like hoopa koopa thing where it went from hoopa to hoop unbound it's like you know, oh yeah. I could see this getting some big badass monstrous form so easily. Right, like maybe you give it the uh what was the uh the strange souvenir or whatever that you'd get in the X and Y. Oh yeah, I think that had more to do with the uh the just hint hinting that the next place was a uh well, no, no, uh, no. Hawaiian type place. I think that had more to do with the uh, Pokemon we just talked about above, the uh, like Tapa Coco and the other. Oh, I think those maybe, are maybe. Island Guardians, or I think that's what those are. Called. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like. I definitely They're like Island Deities or something like that. Uh, Marshadow is definitely easy to work with. The one thing I still don't get, and obviously typings haven't been revealed, is this thing. I'm, I'm going to have to find the leaks and read what the hell they said after it. But I think they said it either has a unique typing or it has a very, like... It's, it's something to do with its typing is supposed to be, like, really off. So I'm either thinking this thing is supposed to be Dark Fairy, which I don't believe we have yet. Or... Dark Psychic? We know we have a Dark Psychic Koopa. Oh, hi, a Hoopa. I didn't, I didn't realize it was a... Yep, I believe he's dark type. Was the first dark psychic type, or maybe he's ghost psychic. That's yeah, that's kind of what I thought he was. But either no, way, no, 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 he is ghost psychic. Uh, Malamar is uh, dark psychic. Malamar, I can't even think of who that is. Uh, Gen six, the squid thing that you flip. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Descriptiveness. <laughs> Um, I, I got the point, though. I was about to say, Fairy Dark, it would be my guess, if it's just going for unique typing, because we don't have a Dark Fairy, to my understanding. And it, it, I mean, it could just be the black coloring, but it looks Dark type. So, we do have a number of Ultra Beasts. I don't... Well, for, first of all, I like all the designs. It's just... Yep. I don't know what the hell's going on here at all. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the Ultra Beast thing is about in general. I don't know if they're uh, so maybe that maybe they're just like bored and they're like, you know what, we're just gonna throw in a couple things where like these are like unreasonably overpowered for just the sake of being unreasonably overpowered. Uh, so this this the, the, these are the few issues I have with Ultra Beast. Um, I guess not intra issues, but. Uh, things that are going on because i don't think you really know um not really there's a special ball that's used to catch these uh they have shiny forms 
And with just about every Ultra Beast they've shown, there is a human counterpart that they believe is, in fact, the Ultra Beast. Like, uh, obviously the very feminine one is the one girl they've shown. Yeah. Uh, the one next to her with, like, the spiky hair and the fucking jazz hands thing is, they believe, the uh, leader of Team Skull. Yeah, I could see that he has like the exact same type of hair. And yeah, I thought I think he looks like Doc Brown. <laughs> we gotta go back to the past, Marty. <laughs> Marty, we gotta save the future, Marty. Oh, that's Your awesome. Kids, they're out of control. All right, but um, that it's never not fun. makes some very interesting things we have we have testosterone uh yeah, the buff thing mosquito I love the buff thing it's just it's just but my favorite is the uh it's just it's it's why is it so buff i like um it's a laser sand. missile arms and uh definitely inspired by ridley scott <laughs> laser missile arms inspired by ridley scott yes that, uh, yeah, that, that makes sense. And then we've got another yep. thing that looks like it's straight out of Nightmare Before Christmas at the end. With big pinchy things. Yeah, that pretty much looks like Oogie with it, 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 it looks a like... mixture of a pumpkin <laughs> and quite possibly a piranha plant. It looks like Nintendo watched The Nightmare Before Christmas and Full Metal Alchemist and were like, we're going to combine <laughs> Oogie Boogie <laughs> with Gluttony and... <laughs> it's a Pokemon now. <laughs> that's the, that's the major vibe I get from that thing. Okay, for some reason I'm looking at this one, the black Ultra Beast that kind of looks like it's kind of made of like crystals or something. For some reason, I get a huge feeling of a big O. The uh, Ridley Scott looking thing. The one that looks like oh. Alien. I guess I guess it kind of does. That's like the major vibe I get from that. Is it, it it gives me a very aliens feel. I think a big O for some reason. The arms and the uh, way the little things come up off the arms. About say the, uh, the thing next to it, the uh, laser missile arms thing, like hardcore Gundam vibe. Oh yeah! Like I just uh, look at that. And it's like that. That's it, a mobile it's supposed armor. to be one of those things where it's like the little bamboo shoots that. Oh, and it's like okay. a meditation thing. That's why it even looks like there's a little stream of water coming into the middle of it. I completely missed that. I I looked at it and I'm like, okay, this laser spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> that's where pillars of death. That's where my mind went. I was just like, oh, hey, look, mobile armor. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Uh, and then we, I don't know what the hell that one is. Which one? <laughs> the uh, the one that's basically just like an asterisk. <laughs> oh, um, it's easily the like lamest of them. Yeah. Um, I have it's no like idea. Like a ceiling fan. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people were saying origami, but I prefer ceiling fans. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, like, oh, God. I, I look at uh, all of these, like, oh, these are really cool, and then there's that one. It's just like, we're going to forget one. about you, because <laughs> the rest of these look really cool. What are you? So, oh, God, Ultra Beasts throw such a big fucking wrench into Pokemon that... They really do. I'm just over here, it's like... I, wh why did this have to happen? I mean... Obviously, I guess Mega Evolution completely screwed up the competitive scene, so they're like, oh, we can't do more Mega Evolution, which is weird that Nintendo gives a shit about the competitive scene, but right, it's just like, no, we've got to do something weird and strange instead, and they've certainly done that. Well, I, I feel like they're starting to run out of new spins that they can kind of put out there, so they're just I... like... Here's these Pokemon that are still Pokemon, but we're not going to call them but Pokemon. Then they're, but they're not fucking Pokemon, Pokemon. Because they don't evolve. And... and they're Ultra Beasts, but you can still catch them. But and there's, uh... I, I, I'm curious to see what these things' uh, stats are going to be like. Are these going to be. Maybe they be... don't have stats. How the hell can they not have stats and still be Pokemon? This doesn't make sense. Because, because they're not Pokemon, they're Ultra Beasts. <laughs> 
And if it's, it's going to be really weird if these things... Why does everything taste like copper? <laughs> it's going to be really, really weird if these things are actually... The, like, they turn into the people and everything. Because I'm just going to be like... Oh my god. They're like the female one. How many... Like, her human female counterpart. Do you know how many, like, sexualized pictures I have already seen of that? I'm just going to be like... Well, kids, you can fuck your Pokemon, I guess. Yay! It's, it's, it, there's, there's, there is no more anthropomorph, anthropomorphized. <laughs> you, you don't even need to do that anymore. They just full on right turn now, into they, humans they just, and go, go to town. Just have at her. It's just like, oh, that was fun. Now get back in your Pokeball. <laughs> Bye, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I am sick of you. I will faint. I, I will faint you and not go back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> faint uh, you and deposit you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, it's terrible. I love it. All right. Do we have anything left? The only other thing I have left to say is there's. It, it, it's. It's. I think by this point, almost completely proven not true. There are speculations and rumors that Nintendo didn't put the entire game onto the uh, demo. Uh, yes, yeah, that, there's been a lot of speculation. That we, we're only about halfway through. Yeah, and that uh, there are more Pokemon to be revealed. Because there's been a bunch of people like, oh, because uh, obviously Oris happened, and... A bunch of people data mined all this shit for Oris, and we got all the information out of that. Yeah, all of it, like right away. And they're like, "Oh, they're not gonna do that again." I'm just over here, like, <laughs> like lols. They wouldn't fuck up Star Fox again. You wouldn't do that to us, would you? <laughs> so yes, yes, they would. Yeah, they totally would. They don't care. So, so I mean, <laughs> if, if there's more Pokemon, I'm gonna be excited. I'm still. Holding on for that rumor that the uh, games are going to have their exclusive uh, starter finals. Because I don't want Litten to turn into a fucking wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's also another theory going around that maybe this is like Gen 6.5. They're kind of making up for how short they were on the last game for new Pokemon, so they were just kind of making See, this real quick, I, have I, a little experiment, I, I've heard and that. then actually this, make the next this is gen my for the uh, Switch. Because we just got done doing your video about the NX. About the NX Switch. Check it out. Shameless plug! Uh, there is another... It was a rumor it popped up a while ago, like, I think shortly after Sun and Moon was announced that the NX, or now called the Switch, is going to have a bigger version of Sun and Moon on it. Like, probably like the, uh, the, the yellow version, if you will. And that's gonna be exclusive for it. And it's gonna have more shit. I could see that. It's okay. I could, I, could, I, I could see that. Uh, I don't know, so that could have more sh what what i'm really hoping for is if you know they have data mined everything out of the game and these are all our pokemon it, again it ain't gonna happen but i hope nintendo figures out how the hell to use dlc in pokemon i i right, want yeah. that to be an option where it's like oh five new pokemon revealed 4.99 it's printing money i would pay for it Right, right, right. I, I would if they hop came back all with... over that shit. I mean, God, you after after Smash Bros, you would think they would hop on that shit with Pokemon, but you uh, you would think that they would take that as a good sign that they should pay. Hey, maybe we should actually offer more DLC on a lot of things that we do, especially like our first party fucking titles. Cause that was yeah, like you said, that was a big disappointment of X and Y. Like I remember after X and Y came out. They're like, oh, do you, are you upset that there's not so many Pokemon? Well, there's more to reveal, be revealed. And then, like, two days later, they data mined the game. They found these more to be revealed. And then two years later, they were like, Volcanion, the new Pokemon's like, we knew about that it's, ages it's, ago. Yeah, it's like, you mean that one that we knew about the day the fucking demo hit? <laughs> we already know the shit that's going to be in Auris. We don't care about Volcanion anymore. 
<laughs> right. It's like we could really give a shit less. And then we like, we still didn't even get it to all the way at the very end of fucking Auras, pretty much. Yeah. Like, has, wait, have, has have we there, even officially gotten I it I don't yet? know if there has been, at least for North America, I don't know if there's been a official Volcanion uh, release. I'm about 90% sure there's been a Japanese release. Oh, God, yeah. Probably along with the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I haven't... I don't... I th- actually think there is an upcoming event to get it, but... As, Maybe. As I'll far have to as check I around. know, I don't think there has been one as of yet. And that's what I've got. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any more things in particular other than, you know, like I was saying, maybe this is six, uh, Gen 6.5 or whatever you want to look at. Well, it. yeah, Zygarde is still... This is the first time we're getting... It's the first time we're getting Hoopa unbound, because he's not in Oris, is he? N- no, he's okay. not. He was never implemented into it. Yeah, they've already found him in the game and uh zygarde perfect form obviously yeah and there's already been screenshots of people finding uh whoever was playing anyway they found a zygarde cell or whatever yeah, so. oh yeah him and the uh zygarde dog form were both in it yeah and ash greninja because we had to ruin greninja oh hey hey it gets even worse uh, cause I don't think cosplay Pikachu's back, so you know what they did with, to Pikachu? You can get Pikachu with ash hats. Oh my good fucking <laughs> lord. <laughs> Give me a surfing Pikachu, god damn it, I want surfing uh, Pikachu back. You know what, an issue why we are talking about this and not outroing the video. And <laughs> it is, I think, the reason a lot of people are speculating there's more. There hasn't been anything shown about a Lolan Pikachu or a Lolan Cubone. And all um, the other I, Lolan Pokemon we've seen have have their first have their form. first form as an Alolan form. I see, I see. And I I just I cannot see Nintendo passing up a chance to make a Lolan Pikachu. Yeah, to make yet another to make Pikachu. yet another Pikachu that they could sell yet another plushie and put it oh, on, yeah. put put stickers of it on with normal Pikachu and be like, oh my god, look, it's Pikachu! Give me your money. Yeah, that shit prints money pretty much. I mean, fuck. Isn't he like? Imagine what would happen if they would have went with Eevee as their poster Pokemon. Isn't isn't Pikachu? I want to say Pikachu is like their international soccer team's mascot or some shit. I I believe so. It's just like, oh my god, why? Rayman is the international uh, soccer team mascot for uh, France. <laughs> Rayman. Uh... Truth. Your games used to be awesome. Then you Oh, then, I love the first one. Then you made rabbits. <laughs> and then you made raving rabbits. That, and that that I don't even know anybody who played that. Uh twelve year olds. Twelve year olds before they were twelve year olds. So, and so even six, they hated it. So six year olds. So six year olds. <laughs> yeah, because, 'cause you know, all them twelve year olds now are, are six. playing Call of Duty. Yeah. Even though they're like eighteen, they're still twelve. They're still 12 in their hearts. And they're banging your mom if their stories are be- to be believed. God damn it. That's why I hate playing Call of Duty, because everyone's banged my mom. Right? Everybody's banging your mom. It's just like, it's fucking Trailer Park Tuesday. Mixed with Taco Tuesday. Mixed with Aftermath Wednesday. Mixed with Aftermath Wednesday, Yes. But I think I am all out of comments. I think I am for the most part, too. Alrighty. Until next time, watch out for bears. Take care, everyone.